we're going to take a look at how to embed an image and also cite it in your blogger post. So let's just go ahead and start from my uh, creation screen here. And you'll see that I've embedded or I've, I've linked to a document. And this document's going to put it through five steps uh, that will allow us to gather the information we need. You'll notice that down below you have a chart where you can, for each image, put two things, your image URL and site URL. So, first step is to obviously think of a search phrase. So I have a search phrase already uh, based off of the content of my blog. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and click on number two uh, and go to Creative Search, Creative Commons search page. Now this um, allows me to obtain images uh, and materials that have been licensed for me to use. Um, so I won't get in any kind of trouble for using someone else's image. So I put my search phrase in here, uh, something I'm searching for in relation to my blog post. And I can use a number of different search engines. Um, I find Google is easiest because it'll search the others as well. Um, so I go over here, since I'm looking for images, on the left I click images. And I go ahead and I can thumb through here and look, but I, I want to use this image. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this image. And you'll notice up in the left, upper right hand corner, it says website for this page. You want to go to, to that website. Now, it switched images on me, but that's okay because I want to have this image. It's better. Uh, so I have to gather two things. Okay. Um, first of all, before I do that, I need to check to make sure I can use the image. So if you right click on the image, it'll show you licensing. Um, Creative Commons gives you uh, a certain no number of uh, settings you can put on your photo. This one I can share, I can remix, I can redo stuff on it. I just have to attribute to the person who has, has, uh, has allowed me to use this. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, so first thing, i got to embed it, and then I need to attribute this image to where I got it from. So to embed it, I need to gather this, the URL of the image, the image URL. So I right click on the image again and I go down to view all sizes. Um, the size that's a little bit too big for my blog post so I'm going to go with a small size. And you'll notice that up here you have the licensing, who's it from, and so forth. So all I have to do is get this, get this page. First, again, let's go to the image URL, right click, and then left click on the image URL, it copies it, go back to your document, your note document here, and then you're just going to simply uh, paste it control V into the correct column and row. And then we're going to go back here. Um, you'll notice that it's the same page uh, and uh, this page has all the information I need to cite it. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on it on the actual site URL and I'm going to copy this URL. Now this is what we call the site URL. This is what I'm going to attach to my photo in the end so I have the correct citation. Let's go ahead and make a record of this. Um, so you'll notice that I'm going to paste this into the site URL column so I know that they're uh, the different URLs and, and how, they, how they'll be used. Um, you can see that they're, they're slightly different in uh, address. Uh, that's important to know because it depends on where your click will go when you embed the photo. So let's go ahead. Um, we're going to take a look at actually embedding this photo using the image URL. So I want to go up here at the top little bar there and I select the picture button. You see here I'll do it again. That image button there. And on the right you see different ways of, of putting an image into your blog post. We're going to choose from URL. That's the quickest. We have our URL already, the image URL. We're going to copy that image URL. We're going to copy the text of that image URL. Then we'll go back and just paste it right into here. You'll see the photo pop up. And all you have to do is simply add selected photo. Now you can uh, mix mash and put this photo in different places of your blog post, move it around. The text is a little tricky sometimes with Blogger. Um, so it can be a little frustrating at times, but just keep at it and you'll get uh, the position that you want. 
Uh, for our purposes, I'm going to put this on the left side and I'm going to uh, box the text around it. Uh, so there you go. And now we have to uh, take this image and cite where we got from it. So we have to link the site URL to the actual image. So you highlight the image, you dra drag it and make sure it's shaded like that. And then you go ahead and go back to your notes and collect that site URL. Okay, again, highlight the text and control C. And then go ahead and uh, click paste into this uh, uh, URL link. Test the link to make sure it works before you do anything else. If it doesn't work, you have to recopy re and repaste. Again, this has all the information that we need to cite. So uh, make sure that it opens in a different window because you don't want someone leaving your blog uh, to go see a, a, a different site. You want them to have both windows open. So once you've done that, you click Update or uh, Publish Blog. And now you come down here and you hit View. And now you're going to see uh, that I can click on this image that is now in my blog post. I click on it and it takes me into a new window with all the information that we need to cite it. So everybody knows where I got this image and I'm giving credit back to the person who I got it from. And so we've gone through our five steps. Okay, we thought of a, a search idea and then we used Creative Commons. We gathered the, the image and site URLs. We pasted those URLs into the correct columns for the correct image. And then we went ahead and inserted that image and then attached the site URL to that image in our blog post. And now we have correctly embedded an image and also correctly cited the person we got the image from. And that is how we can embed and link our photos into a blog post.